I'd like to state up front that I won't be voting for Trump in 2020, so don't call me a dangerous Trump cultist. Let me define some terms for non-theologians. Pre-trib means you believe that the church doesn't go into the seven-year tribulation, but will be raptured beforehand um, by Jesus. Premillennial means you believe that we're not in God's kingdom now, that Satan's ruling the planet now, and that Christ's 1,000-year kingdom is future and happens after the future seven-year tribulation. I'm voting for Tulsi Gabbard because Trump has reneged on his campaign promises to not cater to the military-industrial complex. That being said, if he kept his promises to really go after the deep state, I would still be voting for him in spite of his so-called immoral behavior, as this hypocritical Christianity Today writer alleges. I'm sure you all have heard about that article about Trump. What Christians found attractive about Trump was his authenticity and courage, something missing in today's fascist and politically correct climate. What pisses me off most about this Christianity Today writer is that he does not represent true Bible Christianity, and he needs to be exposed for the Christian fraud that he is. He represents establishment Christianity or worldly Christianity that has the respect of the world what we evangelicals call a worldly Christian. He reminds me of the scribes and Pharisees who had the respect of the world in their time, and as a result of this were able to rig an illegal trial, uh, isn't that what Trump's going through, and send Jesus to the cross. As a true Bible believer, the Bible instructs us not to be conformed to the world. And so Trump going after the deep state which epitomizes all the evils of worldliness, is what caused so many evangelicals to vote for him. As the trial for Jesus was a farce, so have been Trump's impeachment proceedings. Don't feel bad, Trump. This Christian who's criticizing you is probably ten times worse than you are in private. My ex claimed to be a devout Christian. He went to church all the time, was a Bible college grad, even planned to go to the mission field, but was a secret pedophile and took delight in feeling important and better than other folks. He was always pointing fingers at others and noticing all their faults. It's obvious Lori McBride has paid Christianity Today good money to write this article about Trump. The writer went to Fuller Theological Seminary, which went to the dogs a long time ago. True Bible scholars who use the literal method of interpretation and are premillennial and pre-tribulation in their Bible interpretation know that Fuller Theological Seminary turns out Bible scholars who practice what the Bible calls philosophy and vain deceit by interpreting the Bible text to take verses out of context and even saying the verse te says something totally different than what it says. In other words, changing the Bible to teach vain philosophies over truth and teaching a bunch of nonsense about the Bible. I wouldn't be surprised if the writer of this article is not even a true Christian. But he's a fake. Probably won't even go to heaven. Final thoughts. He that is without sin among you let him cast the first stone. And don't forget that Jesus stuck up for the woman who was accused of committing adultery. Now, there was a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes there that Jesus knew about that was not apparent to people who were just judging by the surface stuff. How much you want to bet that this guy, this Christianity Today writer, believes in replacement theology, believing the church is now Israel? You can't believe this unless you don't believe what you read in the Bible. These folks don't believe in a future 1,000-year reign. They think we're in the kingdom now and that our job as Christians is to build this kingdom now. This is a works salvation from the pits of hell. If we're in God's kingdom now, then I think I better abandon Jesus because he's failing, man. We better get out, man. Anybody who graduates from Fuller Theological Seminary, like this Christianity Today writer criticizing Trump, is probably a proud, stuffed shirt, Bible nincompoop, full of worldly pride and zero in the true spiritual authenticity department. If they can't be honest enough to see that this current world is being run by Satan, 
then they're probably not honest about themselves as a sinner who cannot earn their own salvation. Just tell me someone went to Fuller Theological Seminary and I already know not to trust their interpretation of anything in the Bible. Basically, Fuller Theological Seminary is a garbage school now, and I wouldn't trust any graduate of that school unless they were rebelling against its teachings to be a true Bible scholar. All the Bible teachers that I respect have a very low opinion of Fuller Theological Seminary, which is where the Christianity, Christianity Today author went. Fuller Theological Seminary no longer believes the Bible is inerrant. Need I say more? I learned this from John MacArthur, who himself is a bit of a kingdom now theologian when it comes to the church, almost believing that the church has replaced Israel. Even John MacArthur calls out Fuller Theological Seminary. Now, John MacArthur is, in my opinion, he's off on some of his Bible interpretation, like his criticism of dispensationalists, uh, who, uh, who actually teach the only thing, of, the only, which is the only way that the Bible makes sense to me. So if John MacArthur is going after them for being worldly when he himself is starting to go a little worldly in his Bible interpretation, it means Fuller Theological Seminary has completely gone to the dogs when it comes to treating the Bible with respect. You got to watch out for these self-righteous hypocrites so eager to pounce on the sins of others. Many of them are closet sinners whose private and public behaviors are total opposites, kind of like Lori McBride, you know. By the way, many of my views are not conservative, though. Jesus states in the Bible Part 2, or my Bible for Tribulation Saints, that he's not anti-gay, though he prefers the man-woman relationship. It seems pretty inappropriate to attack Trump for his morals when Satan's deep state hates him so much. We're all sinners and should all remember that. God is not looking for perfection. He's looking for loyalty. Like, who are you loyal to? Trump is authentic for the most part, and he's uprooting Satan's system, and, and apparently part of that system is the magazine Christianity Today. Satan must be really happy with CT. Satan gives them a thumbs up. I bet this magazine's going to cheer on the Antichrist when he takes over the world. You know, Russia Today, I have a link to their, an article about them in, in an article that I wrote underneath this video. They're often right. But I say give Trump a break on this, you know, because he called them E.T. instead of C.T. Trump's sins are that he supports the military-industrial complex. But, you know, he's a lot of this is he's a victim of his circumstances. Give him a break over his morals. At least he's what he appears to be for the most part. I know some think he's a narcissist, but I think he's just fighting the system, and he's lashing out at the unfairness of it, but he's not a fake. I still plan to vote for Tulsi Gabbard, though. But the main reason I'm not voting for Trump is not because I think he's all these crazy things everybody says about him. I see him as a man trapped by his circumstances and who can't seem to get out from under them. Regarding, you know, getting the initials today, calling CTET, like, who cares? We all have brain slips, especially with Lori McBride's brain control and her terrible bombs, which gave me such a bad headache last night. I had to go to bed early, filled with killer yeast. So killer Lori McBride mocks Trump for his morals while she bombs the hell out of the planet, making us all sick and killing people, too, and could win the Nobel Prize for murder. You know what? I bet if the real Jesus showed up, this Christianity Today guy, who's obviously working for Lori McBride, would condemn Jesus as the Antichrist and would praise the Antichrist to high heaven as the real Jesus. His article only appeals to those who hate the Bible or who are, or who are Bible blockheads and therefore not true Christians anyways and love to make the Bible say what it doesn't say. Yeah, don't preach to we evangelicals about being immoral hypocrites because we voted for Trump when you wasted your money Go into a worldly school that does not treat the Bible with respect. I voted for Trump in 2016, and I'm an evangelical, and I don't regret it, even though I'm not happy with how Trump's been handling the military-industrial complex. But he was better than the chief of the warmongers, Hillary Clinton, the other choice we had. Ha! Huh. I bet this writer's not even a born-again Christian. He's probably not even saved. How much you want to bet he thinks he's got to earn his salvation? 
he's a proud stuff shirt, sh proud stuff shirt, self righteous person who thinks he's good enough to earn his own salvation. And I think that's what Fuller's teaching right now. Sounds like a proud, self righteous, unsaved sinner to me. He does not represent the evangelical community. He's a fraud. His interpretation of the Bible is probably as accurate as Satan's. I bet he doesn't believe in the pre-trib rapture of the church. So, you CT writer, you bloody lying hypocrite, when I go up in the rapture, which I'm sure you will say is fiction, I'll be waving at you goodbye. You're going to be left behind unless you get your proud, self-righteous heart right with God. Dead or alive, I'm going up, folks. That's what the Bible says. This really pisses me off that this person even claims to be a Jesus follower. He's a fake, just like the scribes and Pharisees who killed Jesus. So I, you might say, why are you getting all riled up about this guy? It's because I don't like how Satan is able to use somebody who claims to be a Christian, who I suspect is a fake, and is... It's part of his brainwashing. He's setting things up for his seven-year tribulation. And I bet this Christianity Today writer and Lori McBride are BFF. Yeah. You might say, you're not voting for Trump, so why are you sticking up for him? Well, I'm just really pissed off that Lori McBride is, is wasting all our time with this circus on television, this impeachment farce. I mean, you'd have to be a total idiot to think that that's intelligent viewing when there's work that needs to be done and there's a government that needs to be run. So while they're wasting our time with all this nonsense, underhandedly and behind the scenes, uh, Trump passes the biggest military spending bill ever funding the military industrial complex and all this, all this evil stuff is going on behind the scenes and that stuff's not being condemned. This Passing this huge military spending bill, the Space Force, that that passes, putting us further into debt, causing inflation. And, you know, that's like Ron Paul says, a tax on the people. You know, all this government spending, it, it affects the people. It causes inflation. And all this stuff's happening. Well, well Trump, and I, th I actually don't think Trump wanted to do that. I think he's a victim of the circumstances. And um, I'm just telling you, if they're going to impeach Trump, they should impeach him on stuff like that. Illegally spending taxpayer money for the deep state. That's what he needs to be impeached over, not this nonsense about some stupid phone call to Ukraine that means nothing to anybody who has half a brain. I mean, Russia is not our enemy. We're not in the Cold War anymore. Yeah, and... The only reason that Lori McBride has to make Russia our enemy is because Vladimir Putin's on my marriage list. He'd be willing to die for me, which means he opposes her. And he's an influential world leader, so she's got to make him evil. Um, I actually propose that uh, I think the best leadership for our country would be, um, uh, it would be an alliance between Russia and the United States to fight the deep state. Yeah. That's the direction we should go. And Lori knows if that ever happens, she's probably going to lose. That's why she's got to make, uh, they're just, you got to turn into Gabriel Chana, Fox News, Zero Zero on Kale. Anyways, I had to say this about that Christianity Today guy. Now, I'm Franklin Graham's already condemned him, and a lot of people, in event, a lot of true Christians have condemned him. He does not represent Christians. He does not represent Christians, okay? Um, we Christians, we we evangelicals, we see through him. I think most of us don't feel that he represents us at all. Um, you might say, well, they're all praising Christianity Today as a major Christian per publication. Yeah, a major Antichrist Christian publication. I predict that when the Antichrist shows up, Christianity Today will be praising him to high heaven. Yeah, that's about how reliable they are.